Flashback Monday, January 9th, 2015, a penalty box party with Junior Canucks and JDA Kings taking 98 penalty minutes during one whistle. 364 days later, and Dawson Creek plays host to Grand Prairie again in a game that would be similar, but not quite as bad penalty-wise. GP took the lead with the ice barely dry, but the Junior C's hit back only a minute after, as Jared Connolly with his second third effort was able to sneak the puck in. Kings were hot to begin the game, firing 25 shots on target in the first, though this didn't count. Off the bar, then Josh Round knocked the puck safely out. Just before the four minute mark, Colton Karen's centering pass goes off the defender's stick and finds a way in as the Kings went up 2-1 very early. Midway through penalties, Zach Bennett and Jordan Ray got mixed up, more guys jumped in, gloves on the ice, and result, a seven minute power play for the Kings. Junior sees physical play on the PK, Sam Needham told Kevin Henley to take a seat. Round took over from there, made a number of key stops, as Dawson killed off the lengthy PP, ending the first period down 2-1. After a figure skating display that should help the boys calm down, the second period was underway. Did it seem to work more penalties to begin the frame, but then this, on a platter for Ryan McCallum, smashed it in, tying the game up at 2. Late in the period though, the Kings answered back on another power play Jackson Rene fires this past everyone, restoring GP's lead up 3-2 at that point. But in the third, Jaden Peterson chipped this up and by Andy Gilker and Nett, once again, leveling things up. Now tied 3-3, 11 seconds to go. Refs call Mitch Palfy for covering the puck in the crease. Whether he did or not, it's a penalty shot. Bennett skated in, opted for the shot, not beating round like that. One of the tendies, 49 saves on the night, none bigger than that one, locking up at least a point for the junior C's. An OT check out the hustle by Ray here, great defensive effort to break up the play. Then two minutes to go, Spencer Gover looking to end it, can't get it in, runs into the goalie, Gilker down a bit easy, but you can't make contact like that. The D-man assessed a two-minute minor. Led to this, 11 seconds from the shootout, Rene in close sniped it as the Kings took down the Junior Canucks 4-3 in overtime. Head coach of the Junior C's, Gene Cooper, said the seven-minute penalty kill was huge for his team early in the game, but the team just can't be giving their opponents opportunities like that. It just allows the other team to get into the game, right? And regardless of killing it off, I mean, it gives, it gives us energy, but it, it just allows the other team time with the puck and, and uh, patience with the puck and, and gets us on our heels. The Junior Canucks hosted the Fairview Flyers on Sunday, losing an 8-1 to decision. We'll have that recap for you on Wednesday night. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.